Oh, little idle cam. Where have you been all summer? Did you go to the cottage? So it's been a while since I used the idle cam. Once I got all these mirrorless cameras to test, I was like, ah, let's go for it. And I haven't even bothered bringing this thing out, but the man, the inventor himself has made some new lenses. We got them. We're gonna test them, some weird ones and some freaky ones. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So right now we're on the regular lens. I think it's a 24 mil equivalent on the Nebula tripod, of course. I can't believe I watched Matty Haponi Boy's video on the best tripods. He didn't even get the top two. He didn't even know they exist. Ah, uh, you rookie. Seriously, this Nebula tripod is the best thing ever. It's the longest. It's the lightest as well. Take that to the bank. And it's all metal, mostly. There's some plastic. But a strong holds up the Panasonic S1 with the 20 mil. It can do that. If it can do that, it can do the idle cam. It's the opposite. I seem bright. Do I look overexposed? Now, for sure. I feel like it didn't start trying. That looks great. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you hear that? Birds fell out of a tree fighting. So let's switch. We got an ultra wide non fisheye lens. That's exciting. I brought the GoPro just to see what it's super view versus this. So right now, here we are, 24 mils. Let's switch it up a notch. Oh my God. Oh, the wideness. Oh, look at our lives. Why am I so bright? Oh, come on. Why? Why? It's a cloudy day too. You can auto exposure lock. I probably should do that once I find the perfect exposure. Not yet. Oh, right there. Lock it. It's grayed out. I don't know what I'm doing. How's that for a focal length though? Seeing the world fixed focus. Am I in focus? Cause I had to do it myself. I hooked this thing up to an HDMI monitor and then I'm like tweaking it with a light. Things happened. Hopefully good things. That's fantastic. One of the reasons I like the idle cam is because wide angle lenses have their problems. If you're on a mirrorless with IBIS, you get the wavy warpy shit. If you're on a Canon lens stabe, it's too heavy. The GoPro, super wide, but it's fisheye. Idlecam manages to solve all this because they're on a gimbal and he made a rectilinear one. See that post? It wasn't bending. I gotta be honest with you, that slow-mo is a little rough looking. It's a little rough around the edges, but he's trying to improve it. He just, he's not sure if the system is capable. He did improve. He came up with a firmware update to bump this up, 4K 30p to 100 megabits per second. He just sent me one last night for 120 megabits, but my card couldn't even read it. So I had to revert back to the old version. They were talking to themselves. So this is 4K 30p at 100 megabits per second. So there should be less artifacting because sometimes I've noticed it in the grass. If you're moving, there's some weird stuff happening in the trees. It's not like a deal breaker, but it'd be nicer if it wasn't there. So let's compare it to the GoPro, it's super wide. All right, their lenses are exactly equal with each other. How are we doing on that? Who's wider? Who's more fish-like? <laughs> Only the GoPro should be. How you doing, fish boy? I've noticed, I switched it to linear the other day. It's almost the same wideness. There's zero benefit in going in the super view, but we do it. We do it. Versus the idle cam. Which is the more pleasing image? Which stabilization is preferred? Which non-fish-like substances have you ingested this morning? Wow. If we bring it on in, is there a noticeable difference? What should be noticeable is the GoPro when you wiggle it. Whereas the idle cam, I don't know. Well, why would you even do this? Because it's fun. Oh, help. Oh, no. All right, now we're in linear on the GoPro. 
any differences happening. Is the idle super wide still? I don't know about that linear. I need the media mod for this to even be viable. Is there a cop? I'll arrest you. The only thing I find a little annoying is the auto exposure. There, it's kicking. It's okay now. But sometimes you get so dark or way too bright, it ain't fast enough. How y'all doing? All right, let's switch over to the new lens. It's a freak lens. So here's the current lens, super wide, ultra wide, non-fish. Let's switch it up to the next one. Oh my God. Oh my God right now. Are there detectable levels of tone? It's a 35 mil Tony 1.6, which still the sensor is so small, it's probably a Tony 10, but still ingenuity confirmed. It looks a little fish eye. How do you have a 35 millimeter fish eye? That ain't right. Is it beautiful? Beauty confirmed. I'm trying to see if there's bulging. It looks like a little bit on those doors. Let's, oh, there, we fixed it. Really, oh, what rule are we in? Thirds, over here. They're ton, they're disappearing. That'd be funny if there are, cause you can't get Tony on a tiny sensor camera. None of them have it, not one of them. You need at least one inch, but he has found a way, unless he hasn't. That's very likely, but still, is it sharp? Am I in focus? This is basically the ZV-1 focal length, possibly wider, a 35 mil. The ZV-1's 32.5 with all those crops, stabes. That guy had change in his pocket. It's pissing me off. Go spend it, asshole. Give it to a homeless man. It's a little tight for my liking, but we have another lens. Now this one's a lab experiment gone wrong fast. Let's just do it. Oh, oh. We have Gerald undone mode confirmed. It is confirmed hard. Oh, we have confirmed it. Oh, the love. You can feel the love. I feel it. it. Feels like burning in loud trucks. This is actually an infrared lens. It can see at night and we will, I will come back out here at night and see if we can vlog at night. There's a special light that comes with it. I can't wait. But right now you can use it in the daytime to do this. Wait for her. Oh, it's purple. The grass is purple. The grass is more purple on the other side. That's what they always say, but it's not. The grass is in your heart the whole time. Wow. So the idle cam is a gift that keeps on giving. He's still innovating today. I think what he needs, he needs to move on to a one inch sensor and then do all these lenses and maybe shrink down the design a little bit. That's what I think should happen, but I like this. We'll come back out at night and see if we can vlog better than a full frame camera. Probably can. I really like this ultra wide though. I feel like we can do it with no compromises. So if I want to go downtown, show you my city, my beautiful alien city, we can do that. Thanks to the idle cam available down below. Affiliate links everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh, the low light performance and the magic. You can't see me, but look at all that magic back there. So we're still on the infrared lens. The colors look normal for some reason. I got the light though. Let's do it. I want to be in darkness. Okay, this is a pretty dark spot. Let's get that light on there. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, oh, that, wow. Oh, that is wrong. That is just wrong on many levels. There's many levels of wrong right happening right now. <laughs> oh yeah, the low light performance of a tiny censored camera. How is it possible? You could be a ghost at night. The ghost of Christmas past. 
you didn't even know it. So I think it's pretty confirmed that the idle cam is the greatest low light camera this world has ever known. And if you die, you know that you can come back and vlog on side streets while the people in their house look at you. I gotta tell you, these little infrared modes are fun. I was playing around with the hue mode in DaVinci and you could change it. It almost looked like I was normal skin toned, but my black shirt was red and the leaves were all orange. That's freaky cool. So, not bad. And that 35 mil 1.6 actually gives somewhat subject isolation. It, it actually looks similar to the ZV-1. A little bit. A little bit. Not quite. A little bit. What the hell is all that? Did you all see that? Things were surrounding me. Ghosts. Were those orbs? What is this mode? What have we uncovered? Oh, someone send help. Did you see that or am I hallucinating? I saw a bunch of flashes. It was probably just the car's light. Oh, oh what? Uh. Don't use the camera. Oh God, what was that? Oh, there's orbs. Oh, someone help. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh God. Oh no. Are they just bugs? I'm paranoid. That's fine. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Good job, Idle Cam. Links are down below. I like this new wide angle. And it's late. I want to go home. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.